Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. We are in Teslin, Yukon, Canada. And oh, look at this. There's a globe trotter. There's one globe trotter and then there's another one over there. Oh. The Alaskan Highway. And we are having lunch at the Yukon Motel restaurant here. Okay, this myth about that you need to pack a lot of food going up to Alaska is actual, it's, it's absolutely wrong. There are restaurants every 50, 7,500 miles throughout the highway and also places to sleep. So we have seen a lot of motorcyclists, motorcycles who are going up to Alaska or coming down from Alaska so you really don't need to pack a lot of food I stocked up our freezer with, with meat and we haven't used any of it <laughs> so I might be dumping some of it when we do get to Fairbanks I don't know yet so that's where we are regarding food we've been eating out we haven't changed our lifestyle our lifestyle is that we still eat out because I don't want to do dishes, I don't want to prep, I don't want to clean up. All right, we're going to go have lunch. Okay, we are in Teslin, Yukon, Canada. We just had lunch at Yukon Motel Lake and, La and Lakeshore Resort. Yes. They do have an RV park here. We're not staying here, we just had lunch here. It was a very good lunch. The restaurant is, is clean, it's got good food, the gift shop is cute with a little nature taxidermy <laughs> museum inside the gift shop. Nice people. It's worth a stop here. Absolutely. Uh, either for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. All three meals look very good, they have quite an extensive well, it's not too extensive, but a good variety, a good selection of food. And the fuel was a reasonable price if we had needed fuel. Oh, really? Yeah, it was better than we paid. Oh, well. 10 miles back. It didn't matter because I needed fuel. Anyway, didn't know it was here. Yeah. Anyway, very nice. Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are here at Whitehorse. I don't know the name of the RV park. It's next to the Alaskan Highway. And again, we are jam-packed in here. As you can see the rigs, we are back to back <laughs> with no space in between to spare. <laughs> Some of the coaches are are almost touching <laughs> when they pull out their when they pull out their pullouts. We don't have pullouts, so we're a little bit more fortunate. However, I had to jimmy rig the sewer. So when I do go empty the tanks, I do have to watch it. Right now what's holding the sewer into the sewer is our leveling blocks. Which is not a good thing. And I'll talk to him about that because he says jimmy rig when the term is actually jury rig. Oh, jury rig. But we're going to discuss it and he'll, it he'll have it right in the future. Oh, but I like no. jimmy rig. It's a good term. Jimmy, I thought it was jimmy rig. Oh, well. Jury rig? No. It's a very tight space. We're, we're, it's kind of a zoo. They, Mark had to help me back in and out, back up, back in, back out, back in. So I don't know if I would stay here again only because it's so tight. It's very tight. It's, it's actually fun to just watch everyone. Oh, it is raining. I just felt a raindrop. See, it's, it's here. Here's what I mean by it's a madhouse. Oh, thunder and lightning. It's a madhouse. It's really tight, really, really tight. And here's our, our here's our here's one of our neighbors. 
<laughs> oh no, which way do I have to go this way? <laughs> It's a bad house. It's raining. I'm getting wet. It's raining harder now. Okay, I'm going. We're going in now. Right, I'm going in. We're going in. End of the day. Okay, here we are at Whitehorse. So this is the capital of the Yukon, right? Yes, Yukon Territory. Yukon Territory, Whitehorse, we're at the airport. And supposedly this plane right over here is a giant wind, wind turbine, or um, what do they call those? Wind, wind thing. So whichever way the wind is blowing, supposedly, the the plane will shift to whatever direction that is. I don't remember what it's called. A wind... Windmill? No, it's not a windmill. Well, anyway, it's one of those wind things. So if the wind's blowing this way, the plane will face that way or that way. It's kind of cool. I don't know how sensitive it is, but... Maybe they... Since it's not windy and I don't really want it to be windy, it's been raining and raining all day. We just had dinner at a wonderful restaurant, a Korean restaurant, right over there at that hotel. Oasis, Hoi Oasis Fusion Asian Restaurant. They had the best hot pot rice bowl. It was delicious, absolutely delicious. And Walter ordered some sort of beef. Beef and vegetables, Beef, one of the best meals I've ever had Korean in my life. Korean cabbages, and oh, it was delicious also. What a find, who knew? In the middle of the Yukon. One of the best Korean restaurants. Walter gave it five stars in Yelp, and I did too. It's amazing. Again, we are at the Yukon. Good morning. We are still at Pioneer RV Park at Whitehorse, capital of the Yukon. And would I stay here again on my own? I would not. We are crammed in back to back. And I actually don't like the way it's a single pedestal over here. don't like this so their front door is essentially next to our front door so I I enjoy the parking lot style better than this and it took the effort of three men not including myself I was just a driver Mark our wagon master Norm and Phil again to the rescue thank you Phil came out and helped me back into this space. I had to pull forward <laughs> and then back in again. <laughs> pull forward, back in again. I need to practice more on backing Wanda up. So, there was no traffic noise. At least we didn't hear any. And our bedroom, it was right on the street side. It rained all night, which was really, the sound of the rain pelting on the ceiling was very comforting. I liked it. Okay, we're going to be, I'm going to go check out the laundry room facilities because we do need to do laundry again. Good morning. Vlogging. <laughs> so, check out the 
laundry room facilities. The park's the park's okay. It's in a good location. It's six miles south of Whitehorse. And the RV park itself is nice. It's not there's no dirt. It does get there's spots here that get a little bit muddy, but only because it's been raining the last 24 hours. But the RV sites themselves, they're they're cush. I don't know what you call these things. Rocks, pebbles. So I'm on my flip-flops and I'm not getting muddy at all. And it just stopped raining an hour ago. So the park itself is okay. It's just the way it's configured. I would not stay here if I was by myself. I only got into the spot that I'm in right now. Again, with the help of people. Being my eyes. Helping me back in. <laughs> into my space. I could not do this alone. Unless you're a really experienced RVer who, know, who knows the rig really well. I know my rig inside, but I don't know how to navigate it too. Okay, today we're doing a bus tour of Whitehorse area. We're supposed to meet here in two hours. But this is the office. Oh look, gift shop. I'll have to check that out. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow everyone is going to some sort of dog run. We're not doing that. See, that's what I mean by highway noise. We heard none of that last night. Oh, laundry facilities are open. Okay, these are all the washers. Oh, it's fairly clean in here. Oh look, they even provided shopping carts. <laughs> it's two fifty for a wash. I don't see any dryers. Oh, maybe that's what the maybe that's what the shopping carts are for. The dryers are in this side, and they're a dollar. All right. Oh, nice folding table. There's, I haven't seen any public restrooms. Again, I don't really use them myself. We did have intermittent power last night. And the power went out again this morning. For our entire... It wasn't just our pedestal. It was entire row of pedestal. So it's the park itself that has intermittent power. And again, we're out in the middle of nowhere. So... That's to be expected. And don't really blame the park too much for that. It's what it is. They get intermittent power. Oh well. It's not like that other park where we were singled out because of some lazy maintenance person who didn't want to do their job. Okay, they do have a car wash or RV wash service. Look at this hose. It comes all the way down. And it is for one dollar coin you get three minutes. So forth and so forth. Kind of nice. They even have a pet wash over here. I did find the shower facilities. I don't understand why they're locked up. Okay, maybe there's hours. Here's the washrooms and they're also locked up. I don't understand. Oh, ladies, men and ladies over there. Those aren't locked. <laughs> Rec room, I don't know what that is for. Here, here's the pedestals. Don't care for this setup. It's hard to navigate in into a space. Yeah. 
And here's the ones that are back in. Care even less for these. So this is what I don't get. You back into this space, but your utilities are on the other side. So you gotta run it through the other way? That that just isn't right. See, it's okay if you're a camper, if you're a van, you can just pull in. We can't just pull in. <laughs> We're a trailer, we, we can't pull in. See, like this trailer over here. All their utilities are on the other side. So they gotta run the line through underneath. Uh, don't like that. We're around here somewhere. <laughs> See, again, we're, we're really jammed in here. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I almost hit this rock yesterday. We are at downtown Whitehorse. It's actually a very cute downtown. We're gonna pan around. Actually, we're gonna walk in the middle of the street. Isn't that adorable? Well, I think it's adorable. It's cute. Okay, we ate over there at GP GP on Main. It's a pizza steakhouse and the steak was was delicious. I had a ribeye and Walter had a New York. New York. Very good. I don't know what we're going to have tomorrow night, but we are here in downtown. Adorable. Okay, we're going to we just saw this. It's actually hilarious. This is the back of someone's rig. Two grumpy old farts. Can't see, can't hear, don't care. The fabulous. Okay. All right, good morning. Here we are still at Whitehorse. And we are prepping to leave for Dawson City. Again, I would not stay at this park only because of the setup situation by myself. Since I am here with a caravan, they will, they all help. Everyone's eager to help me back in and back out. And, oh, one last note before we leave this episode. The proprietors of this RV park she's not quite a bee <laughs> however she is a very strong-minded woman and I don't really care for her when I went to do laundry uh, to get change for the laundry mat she said no doing rugs it's like a what kind of impression is that and when Walter went to get the Wi-Fi code she sniped at him saying you need to stay within your limit like seriously you know it, it's if you're the proprietor of a business you need to learn customer service all right that's the last note about this park um, all right bye